from the Galen Center, Andy Hagman and Dan Weber here for USCfootball.com. Instant analysis of the men's basketball game versus Cal State Northridge. The Trojans were victorious with a 95-79 to 79 victory over the Matadors. Dan, what do we take away initially from this performance? Well, uh, a lot of kids got to play. I think he got 11 in right away. I think they got energy off the bench. Brendan Taylor, for example, came in and got a couple of threes when they were struggling. Uh, as Andy said, you know, they, they you know, kind of jumbled up the starting lineup. Three guys that were actually listed on the game notes as starters didn't start. JT Terrell didn't start because of an academic issue. Uh, so it was kind of interesting uh, that uh, I think the, the depth, uh, the fact that they uh, shot the ball really well. And uh, the 24 assists, I thought they were... They should be, you know, really pleased about that. There was thing, one thing to note is that the team played very well defensively, considering they're still kind of adjusting to this system under Andy Enfield. What did Enfield also say after the post-game presser? Well, I mean, their goal was to hold them under hold, uh, Northridge under 35% shooting, and and they did. I'm not so sure, and I don't know that Andy was so sure that it was all their defense or just that Cal State Northridge didn't shoot it all that well. Uh, he was a little unhappy that this is a team that likes to drive and USC kind of let them drive. But uh, uh, Cal State Northridge just couldn't cash in enough of, uh, of their opportunities. But uh, uh, I think Andy would like to see him play better defense. And also Byron Wesley registered his first double-double, I believe, at USC. And he said it in post-game that he hadn't done it since high school. Right. Uh, you know, What else did we see from his performance? He obviously was phenomenal tonight. Well, he could have had a big game if he, you know, he was real. He was five of fourteen from the field, so, and uh, a lot of those were shots. You know, a couple of them went in and out, and uh, you know, he had, you know, he drove the ball nicely to the basket. He just didn't uh, didn't convert it and still got a double double. So, uh, you know, he'll probably take it, uh, uh, even though I know he he would like to have some of those shots back. And looking ahead Friday, the Trojans host Northern Arizona here at the Galen Center, and it's another opportunity for them to kind of get adjusted to this offense and you know did did Andy point out anything else with the offensive kind of playing with the more aggressive play style and also just this up tempo when we're standing here you know looking at Omar Arabi uh, you know he was seven of eight but Andy said you know uh, this week last week he really ought to be more of a dominant player he's got said I, he doesn't think he knows how good he can be and uh, he's kind of uh, a little more passive than he really would like to see him be like to see him be much more aggressive and play like he's, you know, seven foot two and 270 pounds, and uh, uh, I think that's a big key. If you know, demand the ball, uh, be the first one to establish his position on the blocks and things like that. We're not seeing that yet. You know, he's got a ton of skill, got good hands, uh, shooting the ball well. Uh, I think he's uh, in two games now. He's he's above 80 percent shooting it. He just has to. You know, like Andy said, you know, I want to see him, at, you know, 25 points and 15 rebounds if he uh, really uh, becomes aggressive out there. Well, that wraps it up for today's edition of Instant Analysis. You can check more out on the web, uscfootball.com. Signing off for Dan Weber, I'm Andy Hageman. We'll bring you more action on Friday.